How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to be showing you what to buy in GTA 5 as there is a variety amount of things in this game and this could actually help newer players who actually got the um, all the money from every single week I mean month or until the PS until the GTA 5 comes out on the PS5 so um, there is a variety amount of things as I just said you can buy including this that is free. That it's legit free. I'm gonna show you right now that this is this is for free. Um, look, a Dinka Vito Classic. You want to buy this as it's like a starting vehicle. It's not that bad, and it's originally worth pretty much a million dollars. And I don't think anyone would want to pay that for a go kart. So um, you can choose any color. I already got about seven of them, so I will not need another one. Um, but you can buy them if you would like to. Um, uh, so yeah, that's the first thing you're probably going to buy. Now the second thing you would like to buy is on uh, Maze Bank for closures, and these have a lot of things that you can buy. And that's going to be an arcade. Now you can choose any arcade. I chose Wonder Armor as it's like, what, a million? 1.4 mi million? Just that much. And you also get more if you do the heist. So that's why I actually chose it. Because you get more for doing the heist. Um... So you can choose any of this, like stuff, you can choose your own floor, your own neon art, you can choose your own extras, you can have your personal quarters, some high score screens, you can have all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that will be the second thing that you could buy in GTA 5. Um, another thing that you can buy, which will be on Legendary Motorsport, is if, when, if you get the Criminal Star Enterprise Pack, get the Grotto Turismo Arc as it's free for legit forever um, and yeah it's just another amazing purchase I guess as it's free and it's a sports car I'm pretty sure it should say right um, I don't think it says but I pretty sure it's I think it's rather a supercar or a sports car I think yeah I think it's a sports car so yeah that's the third thing that you could buy the fourth thing that you can buy is the um, Costa, I don't know how you say that, Coscata, I don't know how you say that, um, but this will give you a lot of money in the um, in the brand new heist that legit just came out, so yeah, that'll be very nice. Um, another thing on the, on the fifth thing, I think I'm on the fifth, will be the Oppressor Mark II, as it'll get to places so much quicker, and that's about 4 million, um, that's a bit under, I mean that's about under 4 million. Um, but yeah, that's all right. That's fine. You can get, you can, you can make a million off, you know, this little thing over here. That this, this will legit make you a million. So that's fine. Um, now the sixth thing I would actually buy um, would be a house because you can then get another, um, another. What, what do you call it? Um, another heist to do. Uh, which will give you about, if I'm just counting this correctly, near enough two and a half to three and a half million dollars. Um, so as you can see, you can get these all these type of houses. If they're all in the high end, all of these should give you the heist. All of them. All of them should give you access to the um, to the first ever heist. All all of these here, and the list goes on forever. Um, apart from the garages, obviously, but and this is another thing. So this will be the seventh item to buy, and it's this. I don't think I have it, so we're gonna, I'm gonna purchase this property, and we're gonna use the empty one. We're gonna make, we're gonna use up the slots. So yeah, that'll be another thing to buy. Um, the next thing to buy would be a office, I guess, because you can buy storage and sell it up for more which could which give like about an eight grand profit which again isn't bad um now you can i guess a weed farm would be a very good investment yeah that yeah a weed farm would be a very good investment as you you pay 75 grand for all the stuff like like that for like the supplies and all that. Um 
And same with the lockup, and same with the um, the laboratory, and the um, fake document and the counterfeit cash factory. They will all give you money. Um, every single one of them will give you money. The next thing to buy is if you're very new to the game, go over to the casino. Okay. Now I've already um, done this, but trust me, this this will make your life so much easier. Yeah, so I don't know, this will make your GTA life much, much easier. It's by going into the casino, okay, and then go over to the wheel. This is if you're brand new at the game. How's it going? Uh, the Christmas or something. Like and you need to go into, you need to get quite a bit of money. Um, now, this would be a very good way to do this. What you can do is you can spin the wheel, and you can do a little glitch where you uh, back out. And you don't get the thing you want, and you can also win cars, you can win money. Firstly, you need to be a member to spin the wheel. Obviously, so you can go to the wheel. Than each other. It's premier um, horse racing and at also, the you want to collect your visitor bonus. This is another thing you should do every single day. Collect your visitor bonus, and then you can trade it. I'm sorry, that's not available. Mm, or if you want to, you can gamble, and that'll make it much easier. But well, bet. I mean, gambling. No, I don't know. I'm not sure about gambling. Yeah, I think betting is alright. But this, um, you can win about 40,000, 50,000, 25,000, 5,000 dollars. Something like that. Alright, guys. Um, no, this does. Well, this will not give you any money, but it'll definitely give you more storage. Um, to put your cars in. So you have too many cars. This will be another really great purchase. So you, this will include buying an office, but you can buy a garage. You choose for like six hundred and ninety thousand dollars, but you can hold up to sixty cars in there. So as you can see, you choose all your interior. You can choose how many floors you want. You can have your custom shop. It's really, really good. So uh, I recommend you buy that. You can also go to now, guys. There's another bit of things that you can buy, but realistically, I'm going to tell you that the worst things to buy in the game. So yeah. So the worst thing you can buy in the game, for starters, is the yacht. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean? You can do missions on the yacht to get more money. You don't get as much money as six million dollars, let's put it that way. I'm pretty sure you don't. Um, so yeah, that is the first thing you should never buy in GTA. I mean, if you've got enough money to, then buy it, but obviously... Um, if, you're, like, if you're quite poor... And you want to save some money up to buy, let's say, like an oppressor or anything like that. Stay away from this, trust me. And then this will, then maybe the next thing will be the tug. You can find these and you can drive them. You don't need this at all. You can, and this is another bad thing because this comes with the yacht. Um, the La Lampadity Toro, yeah, it's trash. And you might, and the uh, Digny, you are thinking. Why is that? It's, on, it's quite cheap. You get it with like all other things. So you, can, so you get a boat, a big boat, like the submarine or the yacht. I think you can request one. Which yeah, that would be I mean that would be helpful to get around areas. You can't drive the yacht, and you can drive the um, the submarine, but it's so 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 slow. So yeah. The next thing that you should never buy in GTA is a try to find it. It's a fire truck. Here it is. It legit does nothing and you can find them yet again. Like they do nothing. Um, and there's another one in here as well. I mean the thruster is not a bad purchase. It's just it's just a little jetpack. It's quite fun to use as well so yeah that's another good purchase. Um, this is a very bad purchase. 500 grand for summer. I think you can only use this like a few times as well. Oh, you can, I mean, you might be able to use it forever. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. I'm um, trying to find something else that we might not be able to buy. Maybe the prison bus, that's not good. Same with the Duke of Death, this, this just used to be free. Right now, tank is decent, so I won't blame you if you buy that. These, the buses are awful, and so is the dump truck. So I don't know why I won't buy that either, so yeah. 
and as gold is probably the one of the worst things that you can buy in GTA 5 and it's the Luxor Deluxe okay this is the worst thing that you can buy in GTA 5 this is the most expensive probably and the least like needed thing that you would like to buy in GTA like you might if you if you're very very wealthy in this game and very very rich go ahead and buy it but it's the worst money you'll ever spend and i guarantee that because you'll buy it and all it does is fly around the city and it's not even like a stunning plane i'll rather buy the um the best uh, i'd rather buy the yeah i'll buy this jet here i'd rather buy that get the exact same plane but just not in a different color for the sake of about 1.6 million which isn't also bad you, i mean you get a free helicopter this is another amazing helicopter but this is amazing trust me the titan again is too big so it's another really bad purchase so i don't really recommend it but if you're feeling like mm, it's what i put i mean i don't know what it actually does um, i don't think it has any guns on it i, I could be wrong as it is a military um, a military um vehicle so i don't know um, again, Benny's, this is another way to waste a lot of money. Um, so, that, so you can buy any one of these cars, like this is fine, you can buy any car you want. But just don't get the upgrade, because all it does is going to give you hydraulics and a few of the stuff which isn't worth it. So that's why I don't recommend you buy any of that. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it really, so... Um, so pretty much this video is just about watching out with your money, make sure you don't spend it all at once, let's say you want some, trust me, if you want one of these things that are in the bad section, you don't need them, they will never, they just, they, like, they just won't help you in any way, shape or form, but the good things will actually help you, they will give you um, access to things that you don't even, like the nightclub, that will give you access to the terabyte, and then the terabyte will access you to page, which will help you out in the heist, in the um, in the diamond casino heist, or the like, or when you want to choose hacker in the arcade. Like, it's better, trust me. So, it's all right. The nightclubs are all right. Purchase is not the best. It's all right. Um, but yeah, let's put it this way: you do not need a yacht or anything like that. So, hopefully, you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to. Make sure that you don't spend all your money on useless things because that will definitely happen. You probably accidentally think something will go right, but realistically, you've bought something that you don't even need or anything. Like this penthouse, it only cost me six hundred, like sixty thousand dollars, but it was originally like one point one million. So that's the last reason why I bought it because it's like half the price. That is amazing. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please. Uh, subscribe like and yeah hopefully i'll see you all in the next video and i might even post on christmas day um with a few stuff i don't know what i might do so leave some comments so it's like what i should do for christmas and yeah hopefully you all enjoyed the video and i want me and i want to make sure that you don't spend all your money on useless things and i'll see you on the next one goodbye